Here's a live example of the WordPress 2020 theme. Let's go through how you can customize it to make your site unique. And before we go into the admin dashboard, I built this website to create free training on how to launch a blog in 14 days. It goes step by step from your blog idea to sharing your first post on social. To get day number one immediately, go to 14dayblog.com and I'll link that up in the top right here and the description below the video. Once you receive it, you'll be able to create a free membership to access all 14 tutorials at once along with a one page worksheet for each day. If you've ever thought about putting a blog together, now's the perfect time. We're here on the WordPress admin dashboard and to check our installed themes you just need to go to appearance themes and the one thing I recommend that you do is create a child theme and there's a plugin called child theme configurator that has a wizard to do this for you so I have a child theme here called 2020 blogger that is based off of the 2020 theme and all that does is just separates the customizations that we're about to make from the parent theme really with any WordPress theme you can go to appearance customize and there's going to be default WordPress customization options along with custom options that are built by the theme developer. So in this case, the WordPress team who built 2020. So the default WordPress options are site identity, menus, widgets, homepage settings, and additional CSS. You'll see these for every theme that you have installed. And everything in between the site identity and menus options, they come from your theme. So this is what you're going to want to look at to customize the 2020 theme. Let's go through them and I'll start with site identity and this is where you can upload a logo if you'd like. Right now I just have the text logo and you can edit your site title and tagline and you can also upload your site icon which that's what appears in the browser tab as a square image. And now we'll start with the 2020 customizations with the colors. So here you can se select the background color and you can see I have dark blue and then I have my header and footer background color white and then you pick your primary color with this color slider I don't think you can customize with a hex code which that's what I was hoping to do but I, the reason they do that is because they adjust everything off of this like your link colors so that you don't you know create a really bad contrast between your link color and your background color so I picked like a, a reddish color to contrast the blue so let's go to the next one which are the theme options and you can choose whether or not you want to show that search bar in the header. If you check that off, it'll just take that away. This show author bio, this is whether or not you want to show the author bio at the end of a post. You can set the author bio from the users page within the WordPress admin. Here you can select on your blog archive pages whether you want the post to show just a quick summary, the first couple paragraphs, or the full text. And that's going to be controlled by the more block within a post. Now we can go into the cover template and when you're creating a post or a page you can select different templates to get these various looks. So if you go to the theme preview of 2020 you can see that my home page looks a little different and that's because I'm using a different template and they have another one right here the cover template which I use a, a blog post to show this. So let's go into that and if I click into the image post this is the cover template right now it's got a fixed background image if I unselect that it'll scroll and you can select your overlay background color right now I just have black your overlay text color so make sure they have enough contrast between the two of them and the same thing set your overlay overlay opacity at the right contrast to make sure that you can read the post title the next option here is for a background image and this is if you want to have a background image in this area here where I have the blue background so if you just want a solid color, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this. But if you prefer maybe a pattern or image of some type as this background, you can upload it here. And like I said, that's it for the 2020 customizations. The rest of these are built-in WordPress options. Although the menus and the widgets, they do hook into 2020. So if I jump into the menus, I have two, two menus created. One for my main navigation and then one for my social links, which you can see down here. And if I jump in into the main nav menu, you can see that 2020 gives you a couple different menu locations. So I have my main navigation set to the desktop horizontal menu, and then I have my social links set to the social menu. And so you might want to play around with these menu options depending on how you have your website or blog organized. And then if we go back to the widgets, 2020 gives you two widget areas, and that's footer one and footer two. 
this here is the footer one area and this side over here is the footer two area so you can use their built-in widgets to put any type of content that you like within there from the home page settings this is where you can set your home page whether you want a static page or you want to just show your latest blog posts and the last thing here is the additional CSS CSS is, is the way to customize your site so if you need to make any customizations it's a good skill to have to learn CSS but it's completely optional you can see I have a couple lines of code here and these are specifically for this MailChimp form and last let me just quickly show you how to choose the templates so if I go into either a post or a page you'll be able to see the option to select your template on the right hand side of the screen that's where you see either the document settings or the block settings for the individual content blocks so you want to go into the document settings and right down here under the post attributes that's where you select the template so we just saw the cover template let's just change this up and see what they look like so here's the default template and that puts the picture in the middle and for some reason I think when I customize this I don't think the full width template is much different I don't know exactly how that changes let's refresh and see here and yeah it looks almost exactly the same but just that this is not centered so let me go back to the cover template so there's a quick intro on the WordPress 2020 theme customization options you can start experimenting on your own and if you still feel like you need a little more help I have a bunch of tutorials to help you out if you're looking to launch a blog, I can help you do that in 14 days. It's broken down into really easy day-by-day -day steps. I tried to design this so that you don't need to spend more than 15 to 20 minutes each day. And I used the blog that we were just looking at here throughout this video as the template for the training. So go to 14dayblog.com or click the link here in the top right and the description below. And you'll get that first day of training immediately. And if for some reason you're using WordPress as a business website or maybe you're managing somebody else's website, you can get more of a broad overview with this WordPress 101 training. To sign up for that, go to WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash WP101. And I'll also include links here in the top right and description. And lastly, be sure you subscribe to my channel to get all future videos. If you have any questions about the 2020 theme, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Thanks for watching today. And I'll link up a couple related videos here on the end screen if you want to keep watching.